Chairman of the Gombe State Task Force on COVID-19, Professor Idris Mohammed, has attributed the low number of positive cases in the state to the increase in public awareness and compliance to preventive measures put in place by the government. He stated this during the press briefing on Tuesday in Gombe, the state capital. He also said even though the state still conducts massive testing, positive cases are still low. Urging the public to continue to observe the preventive measures put in place, particularly the wearing of face masks and hand sanitizing. Idris said if things go as planned, the rate of testing will increase with both state and federal civil servants in the test row. As of June 28, the number of people tested in the state was 5,077, out of which 503 tested positive for the virus. Joining us now is Ibrahim Kwame, the Commissioner for Information in Gombe State. Pleasure to have you on the news. Good afternoon, my sister. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, what is different in your state in relation to public awareness? Because we had a guest from Kano earlier who said compliance level is almost at 0%. So, my sister, honestly, what we are doing is, uh, you know, uh, we are embarking on massive contact tracing and testing. You know, uh, as it is now, you know, the level of our uh, infection, you know, is as a community level. So, therefore, we are not taking it for granted. Any case, you know, any case we now confirm, we make sure that we now trace to the roots. We do massive uh, contact tracing and testing. That's virtually that is making the difference. Okay, tell us more about this high testing rate that uh, was mentioned in the report. Is it that the people are not showing up for tests or um, your, your, the contact tracing, you're satisfied with the level of contact tracing? No, honestly, people are now sh are showing up. And, uh, you know, for instance, we have made it mandatory for all civil servants to be tested. And uh, people are compliant to a larger extent. And uh, you see, because of the level of death, you know, our level of death now has risen to 19. So now people are now seeing it as re reality. And they are now cooperating, you know, to the letter. So whenever there's any, you know, symptom or whatever, you know, they always rush to us, you know, they call us through the free toll lines and we, we get to them and, uh, you know, we do the, necess the necessary uh, whatever. I mean, so I'm telling you, okay. is, people are complying, so we are now satisfied with the level of compliance by our, the, the, the indigents. Okay, if I am to quote you correctly, the report indicates that it's about 5,000 plus uh, tests that are being conducted. You, and you just said that civil servants in the state, um, are, it's made compulsory for all of them uh, to test. Could you clarify yes. on that? Because I would assume that the population of staff in the civil service in the state would be more than 5,000. The problem is this, you know, we don't have the testing capacity in Gombe. You know, we all, our testing, I think, is being carried out at Jos and Abuja. It's back here. And uh, when you take samples at times, it will take maybe three, four days before you now get back the results. So as it is now, we are still having outstanding uh, samples, you know, with the NCDC in Abuja, you know, waiting for results. So this is the challenge we are now facing. We don't have the testing capacity in Gombe. So what, what is being done to bring testing a little closer? Because remember the NCDC insists that it is only testing capacity that can confirm the level of infection in a state. What, what we are doing is the state government has procured the PCR machine. But we had a little challenge when it comes to the installation of the machine by the NCDC. When they came, they said the facility where we wanted to install is a two-room uh, facility. And they said we need at least three rooms you know, for the safety of the, the, the lab technicians and the authenticity of the, of, the, of the result. So as it is now, we are now, I think, adding, I think, a room, you know, to the facility. And by next week, hopefully, we hope we now invite back the NCDC for the installation. Okay, fantastic. Uh, but with the interstate travel being lifted, are you ready for uh, a possible increase and even a spike in confirmed cases? Because how can you contra um, control, uh, you know, people that come in and go out? Do you have any plans? You see, we have adopted this uh, border closure. Of a thing. We are not going to now do away with it. What we are doing is we we'll now, I think, add more even the uh, law enforcement agents and our, you know, members on the borders. So whoever that is coming, we now take the sample. We do the necessary, uh, the, the, we, we follow the necessary NCD protocol. 
we are not going to relax that because if you just allow all and sundry now to come into the state, I'm telling you, the case may again we will go back to square one, and we are not going to allow that. It's I, not I, that we are not we are not going to stop anybody from traveling, but then we now we are going to now put the measures in place, wearing our face masks and you know doing the necessary testing. We are going to adopt that as well. Are you satisfied with the work that you've done uh, in terms of creating awareness? How convinced are people that the virus is real? And what is your assessment of the level of compliance when it comes to the use of face masks and uh, hand washing or sanitizing? You see, when the, the, the face masks issue, people have been complaining, you know, because we mostly use these disposable uh, face masks. And I know it costs about 250 per one. So you can imagine, you know, the people are really down economically. And again, for them to be buying that, you know, because it's disposable. However, you know, the state government and the tax force are now, I think, we have embarked on the a project of producing over a million. But remember, in the state, you know, Gombe State, our population is about 3.5 million. So, you know, we cannot provide enough. And the, most of the, the face masks we have is these disposable face masks. I know it can be used only once. So we're having that challenge. But when it comes to hand washing, I think people are, are compliant. And they are doing uh, okay. All right, Honorable Commissioner, thank you very much for giving us uh, some of your time this afternoon. Thank you very much, my sister. You're welcome.